The story is so deep and so meaningful um, that you just, I couldn't resist telling it. I had spent a lot of time with the real people and uh, the story got under my skin and, and you know, for 20 years I was pursuing the story and finally it came to fruition. So it's, uh, you know, it's a story of hope um, and it's a, a universal story that I felt really needed to be told. When I first read the script, I loved it. I knew that I had to make the movie, and um, there were just a lot of kind of stops and starts. I mean, making independent movies is very hard in itself, but this was, you know, we just had to will this movie into existence. So um, there were many different incarnations, um, you know, many times where I walked away, you know, where Andrew did. We always wanted to make the movie, but, you know, he would pull me back in, I would pull him back in, and, and um, we just never gave up on it, um, and so. After 20 years, we were able to kind of pull it together, and, and uh, luckily, we, we, you know, got this amazing cast, and and um, it's just, in, I think, the universe just, you know, kind of made it happen at the right time. So I played Mike, who the story is about, and and it's, um, you know, it's based on a true story of a man that opened the first KKK redneck memorabilia shop in Lawrence, South Carolina, in '96. I uh, was in disbelief that it was um, based on a true story. Uh, I thought it was powerful. It, it dealt with love and redemption, something you don't get to see within a lot of these uh, films of this um, subject matter and uh, these communities, and I wanted to be a part of it. I think the whole issue of intolerance and racism and whether or not you can break through that, you know, when you've been taught to live like that, whether you can change the mechanism inside of yourselves to be able to care or to find tolerance and love. And I think for me, I knew that I was going to be exploring that through Mike and through my family, but to understand what it means, what it really means to be able to even forgive. If you can forgive like atrocious acts, if you can forgive people who like harmed you and hurt you and continue to do so, but still believe, and I think that was what was key about the movie, that something can change, that there's hope. And so it was exciting, the idea of being able to be involved with that with some amazing people to tell that kind of story for people to look at.